Hi guys, Frost Fang. So yeah, welcome back once again to another Paladins video. We're going to be playing some Zin today, a character who I've had requested a ton, and that's because I haven't made a video on him in a while because he's been kind of similar for a long time. Zin hasn't really had all that much changed, and as I was thinking that a day or two ago, I saw some more comments asking me to play Zin, and I remember that they actually changed his right click. For some reason, I just completely forgot that they changed that stuff with Zin. He obviously got a legendary card removed and stuff. I actually don't even remember which one it was, because because my memory's terrible. Was it the one that gave him infinite counter? Yeah, it was that one, because he's still got the other three here. We're going to be playing him in, realistically, the only way I actually see him played. He has a lot of cards that never really get used. I'd actually possibly go as far as to say as he's one of the characters that has the most unused cards. There's art in here that you never see being picked, um, just because everybody kind of goes with the same cards for Zin. And hey, if you don't, that's great. I'd love to hear what loadout you use in the comment section and how it works out for you. But today, we're going to be going for Guillotine, going to be getting morale boost just so that we have an incredibly strong Oh, um, we're going to be picking Yomi or Smaller just because I'm kind of playing Metas in today because I've seen Guillotine a ton. I don't really see these two all that much anymore. And then we have a loadout, which is also very meta. Fan of the Flames, reduce the cooldown of your Billa by 80% on the kill. Really, really strong. Although this can go down badly if your team keeps taking all your kills and then you never get the reset. This can screw you over. Up in Smoke gives us 40% bonus speed in our queue, which is really, really annoying to go against. 1.2 seconds extra duration, which I think makes it like a 3 second queue. How long is it? Yeah, it's 2 seconds by default, so it makes it 3.2 seconds, reducing the cooldown of world by a second and a half every time we hit an enemy, which means you realistically only have to land like two or three hits to get the cooldown pretty much gone. And then we have Blade Dance just as a filler card in there. You could change that out with really anything just to give us a bit of more range on RF. These are the four cards I see in like every Zin's loadout. So if I'm doing it wrong, I do apologize, but this is just from what I've been seeing in Paladins 2.01. Let's just go ahead and queue. Still haven't played my ranked games. I don't really plan to do my ranked games this season. I think we've only got like, what, 30 days left? in this ranked season. It's been really, really short. At least it feels like it's been really short. I remember where Zin is because he's the only character that has a name that starts with Z, so it's right at the end. Or Z, I guess, if you're American. <laughs> my lighting's actually changed a little bit in my setup slash studio since the last couple of videos I made in here, so if you think it looks better or worse from, like, yesterday's video, the day before's, I guess, let me know. I've just moved stuff around. I think it looks better, but I haven't put this video together yet, so I don't know. Shoutouts to Swipey and Queen Zesp. I like the name Queen Zesp. I think that, that rolls off the tongue, and Swipey or is it S-W-L-P-E? I, I don't know. It looks like in the capital I, but it also looks like an L. Siege. Central Peak is going to be the map. We've got a Barak, a Ceres, a Cassian, and an Ash. So double tank, healer, damage, flank. And then we're up against another Zin. We'll see what he's going for. Charlin v. Cassie, Cassie v. Cassie. Um, and then Grover versus Ceres and Makoa. So same exact thing, except they have a second damage, where we have the second tank. Let's go ahead and get Guillotine. That should help against the Makoa quite a lot. And then the reset loadout. We're using the anime skin of of course. The sword looks a little bit pixelated in areas, but other than that, I like this skin a hell of a lot. Let's get some court to match it. Really been enjoying Palance quite a lot recently. I've been playing a little bit more than I usually do off camera, just because I've actually been enjoying playing 2.01. I'm excited for 2.02 and crossplay being a thing. It might make another video playing with a controller, because as far as I know, you're matched via input type. So if I play on my PC with a controller, then that means I'm going to be matched against other people who are using a controller. As far as I know, I should be get going against people who are on Switch and uh, Xbox, I don't know. I also might make a, an Apex Legends video sometime soon. A lot of you guys have been asking me to play it. I have been playing Apex Legends a little bit off the channel, obviously. I haven't made a video on it yet, but I might make a video on it. I haven't really found anything that I want to make a video on just yet. That's why I haven't done anything so far. But, but other than that, I haven't really been playing any other games outside of Paladins. That's why I don't really make any other videos currently on the channel other than Paladin stuff and the occasional stuff video where it's just me talking. I also moved my UI stuff around. I forgot to mention that because I have been playing a little bit more Paladins. I had a couple people tell me that I should try out the other the version of the UI stuff. I tried it. I like it. I'm still not sure which one I prefer, this one or the one I usually rock. I'll probably decide that after playing a little bit more. Right now, I haven't played enough with this version of it to really have a decision. I hit Q there. It didn't seem to work, though. I'm playing terribly. I legit don't think I've played Zin in like two months. He's one of the characters that I never pick, and I don't actually even know why. I just don't find myself going for Zin. That was a weirdly timed billow, but I feel like that Makoa was about to go in and hook my ass, so I'm kind of glad I, I used it when I did. I really wish I had more range on my basic attacks. I'm kind of used to using Yomi, so it feels like my stuff's really short. Let's F this way. See if we can go for a flank with this Cassie. She got battered a little bit there. I'm looking down now instead of bottom right for my cooldown stuff, which I'm not used to. Can we finish her? I'm going to billow. That might have been the wrong thing to do, but I just want to live here. That Zin is chasing my ass. Uh, F. There we go. Is he still chasing me? Yeah, he is. Let's finish him off. There we go. So let's take a look at their Zin real quick. He's gone for legit the exact same cards other than other than Infamy, where we have Blade Dance. He's got the exact same cards, and then he's gone um, for Yomi. So that was pretty correct with what I said 
at the start. Basically, that there's not really that many other cards outside of the ones we've got in this lab that people tend to go for, other than the ones that I pointed out. So let's get some damage on this Zin. That was weirdly timed. Do I want to use my ult on him? Oh, that's the enemy. There's 600, and I'm dead. Okay, thought I had my Q up. I'm so awkward today. I'm playing really strangely. I don't even know why. Can we kill him? There we go. Nice. Finished him off. Let's use the Billow to avoid that Zin. You are so fast in that. Zin is actually the only person alive alongside Makara. I might ult this Makara if it means we get the push. I think it might be a, a good decision. I was going to say bad decision there. I changed my mind halfway through my sense. Is this Makara even human, though? He's playing a bit strangely. Are we going to be able to get this push? I genuinely don't know. He's gone. Let's get rid of the rest of the enemy team. There's my Billow. I'm just going to push it. I'm going to try and keep this overtime going. There's a Charlin ult. Can we hit him with the return on the reversal? No. Okay. I think we're still good, though. Yeah. There we go. Push successful. I feel like I've done pretty much nothing so far this match, and my team has carried me through. Well, saying that, I'm 7-2, so I'm doing something at least. Oh, another random thing not related to today's video. I might be making another stuff video soon, one where I go ahead and just change my setup out a little bit and talk about some stuff that I want to talk about. If you have any questions you want to ask me and, you know, see me answer, just drop them in the comments and I'll see what I can do. I did a Q&A sort of thing at the end of the last stuff video, so if you want to, you know, ask me anything, just drop me a comment and I'll try and answer it in the stuff one that I might film sometime soon. Ash, can you take flank? Don't stay frontline with me. Uh, okay. Alright, so I guess Ash is going to be flanking with me. Barak's going to be up front. Cass is going to be chilling back or middle, I guess, like she's kind of been so far. And Sarah's probably will do something similar. Zakasi, all. I think they're all here. Yeah, they are. They're all here. Let's see if we can kill them. There's a, a Shawl in here. Okay, cool. Let's counter his ass. Hit me. Hit me. Or, or don't. Sure, I'll kill you anyway. This man is lagging a hell of a lot. God damn. I was just about to say that, that could have gone better, but really they didn't actually do all that much there. There's a Mako ult. Um, strangely timed. Wish I was there to go ahead and wipe out his health, but I'm not even close. They have regained access to the point. Let's see if we can go ahead and ult in. I, I do get immunity in my ult, so let's just go for the Makoa. Sure, he's dead. He's dead. Nice. We can just completely get rid of the tank. Um, there's a thousand for you guys. Let's just billow over into this little position. There's a reload that was probably badly timed. There's a bunch of damage. Sup, enemy Zin. There's another 700 for you. Counter. Hit me. I dare you. He actually tried and I nearly freaking got killed there. Let's just keep throwing out these little swooshes from our sword. Here we go. Wow, we actually got rid of his health entirely there. There's my billow. I feel like I have this up the entire time whenever I need it, really. There's the reload. There is some weird animation timers on Zin, which I'm still not used to. There's still some weird animation lockout timers you get on Zin, where you can't do stuff for a little while after you do some other stuff in your kit, and it feels a little bit clunky. There's Grover. Hello, Charlin. Hit me. There we go. That doesn't actually seem to go as far as I was hoping it does. It actually goes about the same distance as your basic attacks. I don't know if this Mako is a bot or not. I think he might be a person, but he's running in where it doesn't make any sense, so I feel like that Makoa might be um, a bot. Let's just billow again, get some passive heals from my gal Ceres. I, I've got a five streak again, somehow. I don't even know how. Maybe I'm playing okay and I'm just not really realizing, but I feel like I'm playing like trash. Can we kill this Grover? There we go. Do I want to reload and then go on this Cassie? Uh, yes, we do. Counter. Oh, Q, Q, Q. See what I mean? The lockout time feels so strange on that. We have got our ult, so I've got another free kill on somebody. I haven't got morale boost, but then again, I've also got 1,500 credits. Alright, went ahead and got some more court. You can actually see that in the bottom right now, so you can read my items when I'm not in the, the tab screen. We've got Max Court. we also got Morale Boost 1, just to help us spam the ult more. I realistically have been spamming it not very much so far this game, just because I'm not really paying that much attention to it. One thing so far that I have noticed is my billow actually feels a little bit longer than I'd like. I feel like I'm locked into it for like half a second longer than I'd ideally want to be, um, so I might lower the level of the card that gives us extra duration on it. That queue took so long there. I'm able to fight again, Zin. What's popping? I got healed by Ceres, so I'm good. Um, Alright, I genuinely don't know how I got hit by that, because I didn't think he could see me, but maybe he could. What was this play? Let me just check this out real quick. Okay, that looked a little bit bullshit. He, like, capped my knee. He, like, lightly dinked my knee in his ult, and then he just continued to slash the rest of my face. I have no idea how he was in range. That was very, very lucky. It's fine, though. We're gonna run out now and do some more work on him. There's my counter. Oh, okay, cool. There's my Q. Let's just get rid of this Zin. I'm just existing currently, waiting for Cassie to do the rest of the work. Let's finish him off. Let's go F in. Thank you, Ceres, for the heal. Where's that Zin gone? I don't even know. All right, he's gone. There we go. Where has he gone? He's gone. So it doesn't matter where he's at. Let's get rid of this Makoa. Sure. That was unnecessary, wasn't it? I really didn't need to do that. I was hoping he was going to pull out an ult last second there, and he didn't do it. Ceres, hit me with that heal. I'm in my billow. Thank you. Let's go deal with this Cassie, who's over on this side, I'm pretty sure. No, she's not. The rest of the enemy team is, though. Sick. Zin just came freaking whirling in there. Oh, somebody got a triple. I think the Cassie just wiped out the entire team there. Well played to her. 4-1. We might be able to get this cap. I'm not sure. Cassie's on a 10 streak. Grover's on a 10 streak. I think Makoa on their side is a bot. They're just saying shout out Plexi. 
a star. I've played against that person a ton of times. I'm with that person a ton of times. Is it maybe one of these people who's on like a Smurf account? I, I don't know. Sorry, YouTube heart. I don't know why he's apologizing. I think it's because he just did like a, a shout out to one or two people. I don't, I don't know. We've got morale boost too though. So let's see how fast we can get out all up. I feel like it's going to be pretty quick. Are they all going to rush left again? Uh, no, are they all rushing right this time? Yeah, they are. Okay, so they switched up their rush tactic, but they still went with a rush tactic. What's popping, Cassie? Can we finish her off? There's 600 for you. Ash, she's very low. Let's finish out. There we go. Ash got to do the work there. This Makoa is 100% not a human. He didn't fire into my counter. So yeah, this, this dude's not a person. There, there's no way. He's playing like a bot, so I have no reason to believe he's anything but a bot. Let's go in on this Zin. That's not a Zin. I'm Zin. I'm so bad with names. Counter. There we go. Okay, cool. That was, that was pointless. Um, let's just finish him off. He's here somewhere. There we go. He's gone. Let's kill Grover. Nice. Max tier court basically denied his self heal there. You want to die, Cassie? Real quick, just hit me. Just hit me, I dare you. Never mind. Don't even have to. Barak's going to do the, the work for me. 98% of the ult. It's overtime. This game's over. This was one of the easiest matches I think I've played in most of Paladins. I have not had a match this simple for a while. Let's kill him at the end of it. Nice. There's Cassie emoting. Barak's on the point. Everyone's on the point. We had a very easy game there. Makura, on the other hand, says no. The match isn't over and he's going to ult and run in. Nice one. He's 100% not a human. <laughs> I can still hear him firing on the point. That's freaking gold. Oh, you threw out a hook as well. Nice. Um, Cassie has top play. This is where I was actually killed there. I went in on Cassie and then she dipped and she finished me off after Zin jumped me and then she also kills Ceres here. There's not really all that much for me to go over on the stat page. I didn't have top damage. I didn't actually have all that close to top damage. Barra Cassie beat me on our side and then um, their Shaolin and their Zin both beat me as well alongside their Cassie. No gravity just said I just realized Zin was Frostfangs. GG's Frostfangs from Queen Zest. But GG indeed. Their Cassie did very good that game. She was pretty much the best player there. 14 4, nearly 100k damage. Everyone on our side did pretty good. Ceres is healing. God damn, 175k. Uh, on their side, Makoa is a bot. He wasn't a human there. Not really that much else I can point out on the stats side of things. So let's just go ahead and queue for a TDM. I want to play a TDM uh, as well as Zin. I like the loadout. There's not really anything to it. It's a pretty standard thing for Zin. Everybody rocks some variation of this. This card is just way, way stronger than a lot of the others here. I think I might take a second off this. I wonder how much of a thing crossplay is going to be in Paladins. I wonder if it's just going to make more people play the game or if it's just going to be kind of annoying because I feel like you might have a bit of an advantage if you play on a controller on a PC and then you're matched with um, other console people because you're going to be playing on 144 hertz or 240 hertz even. Whereas if you're playing on a console, you're locked to 60 as far as I know or maybe Paladins performed better than 60 hertz. But then again, that advantage is, is still there on PC. If you're playing on 60 hertz and somebody else is playing on 144, there's an advantage there. So that's not really much of a point. I personally play on 144. I've played on 240 before. I had a 240 hertz monitor and I changed it out for a 2K 1440p one just because I personally prefer it to 240 hertz. I didn't really notice that big of a difference. I was running at 240 hertz and in certain scenarios, it was actually kind of helping me a little bit. But overall, personally, I'd rather have like high resolution uh, and a better panel because you can't have an IPS panel that's uh, 240 hertz right now. Maybe you can now, but when I had my 240 hertz one, um, you couldn't. And overall, I just prefer the 2K monitor. I had both of them at the same time and then I sold the 241 just because I preferred the 144 hertz 2K one because of all the other reasons that I just mentioned quickly. But if you're like really, really try hard and you're super into kicking ass in games and you want to be as competitive as possible, I feel like 240 hertz is an actual physical advantage to playing games. 144 hertz gets you most of the way there. For me, it was like 80% as good as 240 hertz, but all the other benefits outweighed that extra 20%. But keep in mind, if you are going to buy a 240 hertz monitor, you also do have to have the actual specs and stuff to push 240 hertz in whatever game you want to be playing in this scenario. Paladins, it's not too hard to do. 144 hertz in Paladins is pretty easy to get to. 240 um, wasn't as easy, but it was still doable at 1080p and stuff. I don't know how I got onto this tangent. I just like tech shit, so I kind of just ended up here somehow. I think I was talking about the advantages of playing at like a higher refresh rate against people who are playing on console. But if you're playing with a controller, you're kind of on the same level. I'm glad. I'm glad they made it locked to input device. I think that makes a lot of sense. But one question that somebody else brought up to me was what happens if you're playing with a controller and you unplug it mid game? Are you able to switch to keyboard and mouse or does it just not work? I, I'm interested to know that because there are definitely be some people that start a game in a controller, unplug the controller and then try and play on a keyboard and mouse. I'm guessing it'll lock you out of using your keyboard and mouse whenever you're in a game with controllers and stuff. That would be my guess. I don't know how it works. So if you have insight into that, please do let me know. Looks like we're going to be playing TDM Abyss. Do I want to use the normal skin as well? Sure. Let's see. Let's play some normal Zin as well because I want to see how his sword looks. I just, I don't play that much Zin, so I want to take advantage of today and try and do both of the skins. They have uh, a Grandmaster Andro, by the way, so this is going to be real fun. 
<laughs> we have a Maldamba, we have a Cassie, we also have a Maven, and a Strix. They have a Strix, Eevee, Zin, uh, a Sky, and then an Andro. They said Strix bot. What's the Zin using? Let's just see for the sake of the video. He's actually using a different loader. He's gone for Yomi, Max, Infamy, Dragon Oil. He's got Up in Smoke and Footwork in there. But that's a pretty different loadout to what you usually see, or at least what I usually see. Can we kill this Zin real quick? There we go. I did have my counter up there, and it did the animation, but it didn't actually fire anything out. It's no big deal. Let's go and push left, because they're probably going to be over here somewhere. That's a Sky. Okay, sick. She just appeared out of nowhere. Let's finish her off. Nice. That 700 hits pretty damn beefy. Let's go into Billow, just to help close some distance, because we have bonus speed. Let's go on this Andro. Oh, he's gone. There's my counter. Nice. I don't have anything I can use, because I didn't get the kill. God damn it. What's popping, enemy Andro and enemy Sky? How are you guys doing? Let's kill one of you, at least, please. There's my counter. Okay, she's gone. Let's Billow. Kind of unnecessary. We don't actually have a healer. Oh, we do. We have Damba. Wait, what am I saying? Why do I think Damba was playing as damage? Damba can still heal even if he is going damage. So what I just said makes absolutely no sense. We can't do all that much. I do have an ult. Let's go on Sky. Sure, let's just kill her. That was pretty easy. Uh, counter. Uh, can we finish her off? Okay, never mind. Damba's just gonna go ham with Cassie there and finish her off. We're 12-12. So this is super even so far. Let's kill this Zin if we can. Oh, we still got him. Nice. Don't even know how that worked, but I'll take it. Let's get more morale boost. I don't need quarter eyes. I keep wanting to buy it, but I don't need it because I don't have a healer. She's gone. Want to hit me, anybody? No? Okay, sick. Let's Q. Somebody just pegged me for a bit of damage there. Enemy's in. I wish I could get out of my billow here. There we go. What? You didn't die to that. You didn't die. How did we not kill him? What healed that Zin up? How did he go from, like, no health to full health? Did I just get the visual bug that makes people look like they have, like, nearly no health when they actually have, like, full health? Did that just happen with Zin? I really hope that didn't just happen with Zin. We killed Andro, at least, and then we just went ahead and killed that Sky a second ago. But if that did just happen, that's ridiculous. Counter. That didn't work. Let's kill this Eevee. Oh, she's nearly gone. Eevee. Eevee. Stop dancing around. I hate going against Evie as Zin. That sucks. Somebody just fell off the map, but nobody got the kill because I don't think anybody hit them. There's a counter in your face. There's the billow. Oh, crap. Oh, I made a mistake there. That nearly got me killed. God damn, that was silly. I thought it could boost me in that direction for some reason. That's not how that works. Let's kill somebody here. Let's all you. Sure. Okay. Double kill. Nice. That was really, really awkward. Don't know why I decided to go for that play there. Let's see if we can actually get a win in this match. I feel like we might be able to pull through and do it. Let's kill this Eevee or somebody. Okay, I have Billow, so I can just Billow on top of the bomb and not take any damage. That was weirdly satisfying for some reason. I'm trying to avoid that Strix who's on the other side. Uh, nice. Counter. Hey. Oh, no. She's low. I thought I was going to be able to hit her there. I goofed a little bit. That's an Andro who just died to Maeve. I don't know how she got so high up there, but she did. Uh, there's a Zin. There's an Eevee. Okay. You're not a Zin. You're restricts. I'm so bad with names. Counter. Oh, I'm so dead. <laughs> oh, I knew the second that I looked down and didn't see my billow up, I was just a goner there. We've got even more morale boost, because max morale boost. Why the hell not? I actually prefer using default Zin to the skin, because the sword is so much smaller. It's actually a little bit easier to see what's going on, so that's a random little fact for you. Die, Andro, real quick. Oh, counter. Oh, okay. Sky's behind me. Genuinely didn't expect that. We're four kills behind. I don't think we're going to be able to get a win here. I don't know who's to blame, but I feel like I've been doing okay, so it ain't me, and that's all I need to know. Let's pull up a counter here. There we go. I did nothing with that. Sick. That's an Andro ult because he picked up the little thing early. Let's roll this way. Sure, I have my ult ready. Who are we going on? I'm in my billow. Uh, e, sure. What's popping? There we go. I'm on 30 health, but at least we'll finish him off because we've got the legendary card. Nice. And it's one kill off being over. I actually played semi-decently and it didn't even make a difference. We're still going to come through with a loss, I'm pretty sure. There's my counter. There we go. Finished her off. There's a billow. I'm going to just gather all the healing I can get. Is that Strix actually low or is it just the visual bug. I genuinely don't know what to trust. Is he low? No, he's not low. He's full health game. Come on. Defeat. That's fine. I expected a loss there. I wasn't expecting to win, but how, how come that bug is still happening? I thought that was fixed ages ago. That's really, really annoying. Ninu has top play. He was the Grandmaster Andro. This was kind of to be expected. He's taking a bit of an alternative route into our enemy base, I suppose. He finishes off Strix. He then gets a free kill on Damba. He runs up in the air. He kills Maeve, and then he kills, I'm guessing, Cassie as well. Well played. Not really any complaints from me there. <laughs> Sharkino just said, Frostfang's next time, mate. Heart. Hey, Frost. Shout out to Code R669 and to Sharkino. That's the Eevee and the Strix. Stats wise, I did really well that game. I'm pretty happy with how I did as Zin, considering I haven't played him in ages. I really enjoyed that. Our damage are pretty good. Our Strix was pretty rough. 10k is pretty low there. Maeve, uh, 12k is also pretty low. And Cassie, 21k isn't great. I had nearly 40, which is pretty good. That's pretty much on par with the Grandmaster Andro. And I 
actually had a better KD than him. I'm quite happy with how I did there. Their Andrew is about on par with me. The rest of them didn't really do all that great. They did about the same as our team, but me and Andrew stick out as doing pretty decent there, and Damba did pretty good too, considering he was also healing for a decent amount. Was he going damage Damba? He was going for damage Damba. That's why I wasn't expecting healing from him at any point during that game. I really think if we had a strict a bit better there and did double that damage, we probably would have come through with a win, because that game was pretty close. I like Zin. He's a pretty off pick for me. I don't find myself grabbing him all that much, but he's pretty strong, especially if you know how to play him right, and there's some people who are very good with Zin that are very, very annoying to go against, because I've been matched with them before, and annoying Zin is one of the highest tier things on my list that I don't like going against. Annoying Eevee is a little bit above that for me. Who else is more annoying than Zin to go against? A really good Nessa absolutely sucks to go against. Uh, a really good Talus can be kind of annoying. Really good Makoa can be kind of annoying. But there aren't really that many people that I can think of off the top of my head other than Eevee that surpass like the annoying factor of somebody who's playing Zin who's really good with him. Andro and Nessa but for different reasons just because you die really quickly but Eevee and Zin um, the annoying factor comes from just not really being able to hit them because of the counter and the F and the Q and stuff. It just makes Zin really, really annoying sometimes which is a good thing because that's kind of his character right? He's a flanker. I have certainly enjoyed playing Zin today. I hope you guys have enjoyed I guess seeing me play Zin. I'll see you guys all very very soon. Let me know what you want to see me do next. If you see an AP Legends video from your boy Frostfangs in the future, drop a like on it because there'll be some people that absolutely hate seeing me do stuff other than Paladins. <laughs> Don't know if I'm going to do one yet. We'll, we'll see. But thank you for watching. Leave a like if you've enjoyed. I'll see you guys all very, very soon. And as always, stay frosty.